What's up, God? Um, quick twin flame reading for the collective. This twin flame reading is about the dualities of yourself. And I do not know why I'm looking like this. Like, do I need to move this? Yes. It is about becoming one with the dualities of yourselves in order to become one and um, live in your highest potential. This is about the twin flame journey. It's also... It can be called the twin flame journey. It can be called the chosen ones, the path of the chosen ones, the Jesus blueprint. But it all leads to the same thing. You becoming one with the dualities of yourself and living at your highest potential, which is what is called more life. So I want to do a... Okay, I'll do this last. So I'll pull these last because usually these give messages, a numerological message to add to like what we should do. So I'm just going to pull some cards and get some energy and see how everything is affecting us. Guys, I'm offering new moon um, readings if you want one to see how it, it would affect your life. It was some, super good energy for me. I've been in super negative energy lately. So that was good to hear. You know, I've just been defeated kind of by the circumstances even though I've been very blessed it's like a lot of responsibilities and I just felt like I should be further than where I am and the things that the spiritual pathway to success promised me haven't all manifested yet so I've been feeling kind of down but um I did a reading and good things are to come so what do we have here for today we have Third chakra, Archangel Cameo. I think the third chakra is life force. Um, then we have the world. And on the bottom we have first chakra, chakra Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael... I believe Archangel Michael helps with like matters of the mind or my, matters of the intellect. But let's look it up. Let's start with Archangel Michael. I am so hot right now. I should have turned the AC on. Oh, okay. Yes. Perfect. Archangel Michael. Stability and security. This is the place where... Okay, so Archangel Michael... Uh, first chakra was the base of the spine, which makes sense why it's stability and security. But it is about being secure in life, being secure in where you are, being secure. In your, wasn't I just talking about this? I was just talking about how I was unhappy with where I am and I feel like the spiritual pathway promised way more than manifested and that I should be further along. I was just talking about that. But anyway... When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. If you have problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path, so allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. So basically, it's saying everything is going to work out. Be secure in where you are right now. We are to be secure in who we are and where we are in life, knowing that things are progressing and things are getting better. So first chakra at the base of our spine is about security in life. Okay, that's cool. I can take that. So basically have faith. Everything is working out. Every, you, whatever it is that's bothering you, whatever it is that's bothering me, will be resolved and we will be in a place of security i was talking about in my other readings the maslow's hierarchy of needs and i'm going to talk about that a lot because i think we we need to focus on that we, when you're fighting for your lower level needs at the bottom i just tell myself like i should not be here at the bottom fighting for shit like this that's that's i'm a higher vibrational person i'm living in a higher vibrational life not saying i'm better than anybody else but me and where i am and the pathway that i am on i shouldn't have to be at the bottom fighting for physiological needs so this is confirmation to me that things will change soon now another thing 
my previous readings were promising all this abundance and stuff and all this greatness happening during Libra season. So I'm like, Libra season is up. But according to the Kabbalistic calendar, Libra season, does, it doesn't go into Scorpio season until October 30th. So we have a couple more days to see what happens. So, okay, so we have third chakra Archangel Camille. Like I said, it's life force energy, energy uh, and emotions of desire. So I, without reading this, no, yeah, I don't have, I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to read this. Without reading these two, this is about your desires being manifested in a material realm. With the world and Archangel Camille, it's like the universe acting on our behalf, manifesting things in our life in the material realm. The desires of our heart, whatever your desires are, being manifested in the material realm. So what all together, the energy of these um, energy oracle cards is telling us, have faith, you're safe. The things that you feel insecure about right now or that are not stable are going to be on stable ground pretty soon. The energy in the world and life force and God, the universe is working towards the manifestation of your desires and to manifest it not only in the spirit, spiritual but in the physical realm. So we're safe. Our desires are safe and things will work out for us. We just have to have faith and remain calm and, and, be, and be strong knowing that things are working out in our favor. I'm sorry that this is showing, guys. I don't like this. So, when I move, and I think I already have my keys, but I don't want to move in until I have all the furniture. And my Wayfair cart is like $10,000. So, anyway, um, when I move, the background will be much better. But my, ceil my ceilings are super, super high. So, it's like the sound is different. But, anyway, um,. All right, so let's pull some, oh no, let's pull some of this to get a numerological message with this. So far, the message is everything is going to be okay and work out as it should. You'll be stable, you will be stable, we'll be secure, we won't have to worry about physiological needs because we'll be way beyond that. Those things will be taken care of because life force, energy, God, the universe is working towards the manifestation of our desires in a material realm. So what should, what do we need to do? to help make this happen or to what do we need to do in the meantime and i'm just gonna pull whatever whatever cards come out i'm gonna pull them and look up the numerology or geometry or both i just looked up the numerology i got 18 in the reading that i got earlier because i'm like something this one particular thing has to manifest for me and let me answer that. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? We're getting a numerological or geometrical message, or just a message. See when we come up here, it could be a color that we get a message. These cards give us color messages, numerological message, geometria. Can even be specific messages depending on what card comes out. Like when you get the wild card. So this is like paint your own canvas kind of but it depends on what the other cards say okay so basically we're trying to get advice from here so far have faith stability is coming stability is near everything is going to work out number one is initiative loose communication spiritual communication this is what i'm getting okay let's start here so seven is spiritual completion one is initiative, one is taking, you know, the initiative and starting something, it's cardinal energy. Blue is communication. Green is grounding. So, or, and it can be financial as well, excuse me. If you can see the bottom of the deck, it's the reverse here. So, what I think this is saying is, our thoughts have been reversed. Or the action, we need to, okay. Whatever actions we were doing before, we need to do it again. It's like we, it's like saying that, and I know this personally, I resonate with it. You went back on something, you stopped doing something that you were supposed to do. Spirit is saying, it's time to put that action in again and do it again. So whatever things that you were like, you know, speaking positively, affirmations, meditation, pouring into yourself, Spirit is saying, do that again. 
especially with this one and this seven here. So it's like affirmation speaking and taking the initiative by speaking affirmations of communicating what you want and what you desire, putting it out there. Uh, because spiritual completion is near. Spiritual completion is here. In order to complete it, it's going to take initiative. It's going to take pouring into yourself. It's going to take you communicating what your desires are. I, I gave you guys an assignment, and I did it too. I wrote down what my desires are. So maybe we need to just read them every day and put them out there into the spirit room. And also, with green here as well, take action on them. So if your, yours is to get a new job or whatever, it could be putting in those applications or searching. Whatever initiative that requires us to manifest our goals and dreams, it's like spirit is saying it's time to do it again. And I'm going to look up number 17. The wild card adds to this. You know how you can change the color with the wild card? I just feel like you can change the dynamic of your situation. This is how you change the dynamic of your situation. But this is also saying, what are your wildest dreams? What do you want? We'll speak them into existence. It's time to start speaking the things that we want instead of speaking about the things that have happened that we don't want. And, I, and some cards have came down, but I'm a, I want to look up 17 first because I feel like it's important. We know that 19 is physical manifestation. 18 is life. Let's see what the dramatic of the 17 is. I hate when I get quiet. Ooh, I already saw it. Goodness and sacrifice interesting and god saw the light that it was good and good divided the light from the dark Ooh. oh man this is so good guys so looking at the dramatria for 17 it is the story about how peter casts his net and receive so many fish. So that's just, that's abundance. So this could be telling us it's time for us to have faith and cast our net. And when we cast our net, we should get the desires of our heart manifested. This is about your desires manifesting. This is about your desires manifesting. This is about having faith. This is about having faith and starting over and trying again. And this is about 17 is not only putting positive affirmations with the color blue and the one and the seven. This is so many, I'm sorry, so many downloads. With the one and the seven spiritual completion and taking the initiative, that could be casting your net. And by casting your net, for example, I'm writing another book. That could be me casting my net again because I've written five. So this could be that fifth stone or whatever. I published four of those. So this could be my fifth book published. Could be my net being cast and where I catch all the fish. This could be whatever it is that you desire. You take an action to do it, to manifest it in physical realm because now something's going to come. If I recall that scripture, Peter had cast his net several times and didn't get nothing. But it says, Simon... Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fishes, and hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, yet none, yet the net didn't break. So it's like that solid foundation being created because we, regardless of what was happening in our lives, we took the initiative, we had faith, and we cast our net one more time, even though the, the other times we didn't get no fish. We cast our net again, the fifth time, whatever, and. 153,000 came. You know, whatever it is. It's like, cast your net again. Take the initiative and cast your net and you'll get it. One in seven is also eight. So this is recovery. Eight is the number of uh, redemption, recovery. So it's like, when you cast your net again, you recover from all the losses. We recover from all the losses. So 17 Gematria is about recovering and casting our net. 18 is about more life. 19 physical manifestation perfect 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 interesting we got five again three plus two the green cards we got five the red cards we got nine yes nine of cups here the red is about physical manifestation and hard work and dedication and determination it's about security 
solid foundation as it pertains to work and physical material manifestations. And nine is blessings. So it's like blessings as a result, as a result of casting your net, as a result of casting your net. And, and this is like three, the number of creation and two, the number adding it to it is like union and three plus five is God's grace the number five so it's like that fifth stone that David you know had with David and Goliath or you know God's grace or casting the net again trying again because this time you're going to produce fruit of blessings you'll be blessed materially and you'll be on a solid foundation super dope message and I needed to hear this today because like I said, I've been going through it this month. But, you know, right before, sometimes right before you're blessed immensely, you go through some tests. And you go through trials and tribulations because you know at the end of it, at the end of the test, you win. So, yeah, it's like being immensely blessed because we cast our net again. We remain in faith. We remain in trust. We put our, our desires out there and we try it again. So let's see if we get any tarot because I have not pulled any tarot. I like to use tarot as well. Let's see what tarot messages we get from this reading. Temperance. In the sun. In the ace of cups on the bottom of the deck. Your cup runneth over. Physical manifestation. Re-energize. Revitalize. Um, blessings. Things finally manifesting in a material realm on immense levels, increase and overflow. Right under there is the moon. Maybe we didn't see it happen and it happens. But we know when we cast our net, we know what to expect. But while we're doing it, we have to remain balanced and at peace and tranquil. And we can try to silence these negative energies and thoughts that we may have. Remain peaceful, not let things get to us. Balance our masculine and feminine energies. Remain one with ourselves and God and trust God. Remain patient, knowing that things are happening for us when they are supposed to and how they're supposed to and it's happening now. So I'm going to leave it at that. So what was the overall energy and message of today? Try again. Try again. Trust God. Remain faithful. Trust the process. Stay patient. Be in faith. Your desires are manifesting. And it's going to be abundant. It's going to manifest abundantly. You'll be extremely blessed. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. Um, my ponytail is so lopsided today. Uh, but anyway, thank you for tolerating me today. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Don't forget about the Master Manifestor Cheat Sheet. It really worked for me to manifest my home, to manifest... I mean, I have been on a spiritual pathway to success, so manifestation is easy for me. If you haven't read my book, Dream, that's on my website as well. Dream, the spiritual pathway to success. But, you know, get it. It will help you guys. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Visit AshleyGillard.com to order your Master Manifestor Cheat Sheet.